If you leave what might be the world's most infamous motorcycle club, what are the repercussions? Is it even possible to leave on good terms? Keep watching for some of the few examples of people who did it. Being part of the Hells Angels Motorcycle Club is a lifelong commitment, and according to the organization, there is no such thing as a retired member. There are instances, however, where members have left. Members have been kicked out for breaking rules, and in rare cases, a member chooses to leave. One former Hells Angels member, George Christie, shared his experience after leaving the motorcycle club that he had been a part of for decades. Christie always wanted to be a part of the Hells Angels, and he finally got his wish in the 70s. In an interview with Vice, the former member shared what it was like to be a part of the club, saying, I felt there was really a code of honor despite what society at large would think. These were guys I could trust. I knew if I confided in them or told them something, they wouldn't take it and use it against me. The number one rule of the Hells Angel Code is always back your brothers. I learned that before I even became a member. Christie said that being part of the elite motorcycle club made him feel special, and everyone accepted him with open arms. Christie spent almost four decades with the Hells Angels and was the leader of the Ventura chapter for 35 years. But he decided to officially leave the club in 2011. Christie's personal views no longer align with the club's activities, so he parted ways with them. He said, I felt we became the people we rebelled against, and that's exactly what I told them at a meeting when I left. I'm just a guy that, uh, after 40 years, decided uh, to make a change in his life. As he told KNPR, fights with other motorcycle clubs were about egos, and his efforts toward attaining peace with rivals were met with resistance. Christie went through the steps to formally leave the Hells Angels. He talked to the members, provided his reasons for quitting, gave up his patch, and it seemed that members understood where he was coming from. By all accounts, it seemed that the other members were fine with him leaving. Just weeks later, however, Christie received a call that notified him that he was, as the members put it, out bad with the club. There was talk about him being an informant, which he told Vice is not true. Being out bad was difficult for Christie. It meant that members who he considered friends and family could no longer interact with him. He compared leaving the club to a divorce, saying, At first, everyone wanted to be amiable. They weren't happy about my decision, but they understood it. As things progressed, it became aggressive, and it was hard to take. In 2016, Christie released a book titled Exile on Front Street, My Life as a Hells Angel, and Beyond. He explains his time with the Hells Angels and what happened in his life after he left. He was called a coward, rumors circulated about him, and he even served prison time for a conspiracy charge, according to Gangsters Inc. Not all who leave the Hells Angels have the same experience as Christie, though. Believe it or not, there are those who can leave the club in good standing. One of them is David Labrava, who became famous for playing Happy Loman in the crime drama series Sons of Anarchy and later Mayans. Labrava was initially brought onto the show as a technical advisor for an accurate depiction of a motorcycle club, according to One Percenter Bikers. But after meeting with the show's creator, he was given a role. Labrava was a member of the Oakland chapter of Hells Angels. In 2008, he was arrested for misdemeanor and drug possession charges. After years with the club, he decided to leave in 2019, announcing his departure in an Instagram post. He wrote, I want to say I am no longer a member of the largest motorcycle club in the world, the Hells Angels MC. The only club I'm a member of now is the human race. Labrava went on to say that he left in good standing and it was his own decision, adding, I am no longer a patch holder. I am no longer in the patch holding set. I am now what is considered to be a civilian. Labrava thanked the Hells Angels for his time with them, and it seems that his departure was cordial. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more grunge videos about cultural history are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.